Welcome! In this video, we will learn how to use anomaly detection. As an example, we are going to check quality of screw thread. We see a machine rotating a screw and on some of the images we see a defect, for example here. We want to focus only on the screw thread, so we crop the image. We do this with a code. I've prepared a short script which does the job. Let's have a look. It reads the image from the context, rotates it 90 degrees to the left and crops out the screw thread. Let's check the result. On some images we see defect-free screw thread, but on some we see defects. For example some abraded part here, or a defect here, or here. or some deformation here. or some cut here, and so on. Now let's train anomaly detector to find such defects automatically. We go through images one after another and annotate some of them simply as good or bad. Here is the abrasion, so this is a defective one. Here is a defect on the screw thread. Here is a good one. Defect. Again. And so on and so on. Let's mark about 30 images. The rest we keep unannotated for validation. Here again we see the cut on the screw thread. And again. Fine. Let's start the training. We can set some basic settings of the training, but we keep the defaults for now. And let's go. The training runs for a while now. Fine, so here is our newly trained model. Let's try it out. So we see it has correctly said that the first two images are OK and it has found the abrasion on the third image. However, not the whole one. But here it didn't find the defect in the screw threading. And here it didn't find the deformation either. So let's tune a little bit the sensitivity. With higher sensitivity it has found the defect. And here it has found the problem in threading too. The abrasion is now found completely and it correctly finds another defects too, even the small ones. And here is the diagonal cut, which you have seen before. And it has perfectly found it too. And here is again a diagonal cut. And the rest of the images seems to be okay. Now let's see how we can work with the found results. We open the flow inspection. And let's scroll down to the image where was the diagonal cut. And 
we can see the steps of the processing and the found result. The result is bound in a bounding box and described in the context. We see the position and the size of the rectangle and area covered by the defect. This information can be used in following processing. For example, for decision whether a screw is considered as OK or not OK and whether it should be rejected and removed by a machine from assembly line. Thank you for watching.